Alright, now I have a little update. I've built the second system, which has all of the old gear in this case, which is an old case, doesn't look the best, but it will do, as it's just a, another system. What I did have to do, however, is bend this thing, because the graphics card just was not going to fit with this certain motherboard so that's just the issue with having just a spare random case that I found around the house so could have been avoided if I had a new case but I'm not going to be spending a little bit more on that case if I just have one already so that's that one done and this system now works well kind of the problem was that the boot drive was not actually the SSD it was the old hard drive this was my fault um, I was pretty dumb I was dumb enough to install it onto the wrong hard drive accidentally so that's why it wasn't booting from the SSD at all because it didn't have Windows installed even though if I look on the system trying to use my left hand at the moment look on the system go to my PC go into the to this drive it has Windows right there if you focused Come on, focus. It has Windows. And this is on my C drive. Windows. So I, I'm really confused why it needed the other, it needed the non SSD to boot. Um, it might not have been. Now that I think about it, it might not even need the other one to boot. I think it's just the issue with the screen because this screen is not turning on wherever I do like I'm gonna go in here and move that away and pull out the display port oh. then chuck it in another display port and why are things so difficult to do while recording? Come on. There we go. So I chucked it in another display port. The screen is not turning on. Try and press the. Oh. Come on, focus. Focus. The button down the bottom is not working. Oh. That's probably why. Because it was unplugged. Oh, okay, let's have a look up here. Alright, now that screen's working. As simple as unplugging. Okay. I feel really bad now. Okay, let's see. Now that I've copied and saved everything, I'm going to restart this computer without the hard drive in it to see if it will boot into this operating system so the hard drive is in the back at the moment oh janky I don't know if you can see that or not but yeah it's very janky at the moment so I'll be back so there is the hard drive moment of truth let's see if it turns on lots of flashing this screen should turn on that screen should turn on too however it usually doesn't so I'll just have a look at this screen and it usually boots into BIOS mode see boots into BIOS and it should be booting straight into this one right here into an SSD that is plugged in so I don't know what's going on um, 
what I'm going to do is ins try and install Windows again. So that's why I did a backup while I was inside of the operating system. So, where's, yeah. So I'm going to use the USB which I showed you before. This one, which has the Windows 10 installed on it. I'm going to chuck it in the back of there, boot from it, and hopefully that will fix the errors that I'm getting, including this screen not turning on. So yeah, that's the problem. I'll see you next time. And look at that! It actually booted this time. After all that, it decided to boot only only because this USB was plugged into the cor well, I guess the correct boot USB drive. I'm not even sure at this point. I'm just rolling with it because it's working. So I'll give you an update once it has finished installing, and hopefully I should have a bootable SSD. Finally. Update. It's working. Kind of. We'll see you after this. Alright, now it has booted into Windows, hopefully from the SSD, since it's the only thing plugged into this system. So, what I'm going to do is unplug this monitor, and then only use this monitor, take out that USB in the back, so focus, and hope to dear God that it actually turns on, uses this monitor, and boots from the SSD. So yeah, wish me luck. Oh Jesus, that does not look good. I'm not sure what happened, but the screen just went into some kind of waves. I'm not sure what that is. Um, I am now concerned for the health of this computer. Alright, so now I've finally got to boot into this screen. <laughs> you can obviously tell that this the resolution is way off, but that can be fixed with a simple driver issue. I am completely not sure why it wasn't working. This screen has a pretty bad issue of just not turning on when it when it does have a display. So it would just turn off um, and it would be very difficult to actually turn back on using the controls underneath here. It just wouldn't turn back on. It wouldn't give you the display. It wouldn't actually come up with anything. Um, it was just being annoying and having a little hissy fit. So hopefully now I can go through the rest of the process of installing drivers, installing the things I just had to back up and hopefully everything is all good now oh, and I need to plug in the 2 terabyte hard drive and then close up all of this and enjoy the very quiet computer if you can't hear that I can't either I can't hear that at all it's amazing I'll see you once this is done